regexseo.com is the one-stop place for all of your SEO, web design, and digital marketing needs. They work within any budget, and you can check them out down in the link in the description below. What is up guys, Ultimate Debate back today and I'm actually really excited because I have third of four videos and this one is about the uh, Gigabyte AC type Wi-Fi adapter and basically this one in theory is the best one because it plugs into the motherboard, it has antennas that can be placed somewhere other than just like you know directly behind it um, and also better antennas than like a USB but also um, it has Bluetooth on board so if you're like me and you use Bluetooth constantly this is nice because you play you pay a little bit of a premium but you have it all together plugged directly into the motherboard or latency stuff like that more in depth in the fourth video um, but yeah and I'm just right here let's go ahead and unbox it so here it is guys packaging is pretty pretty straightforward I mean it's pretty cluttered it's got a lot of stuff on there let's go ahead and get into it So there's a lot of stuff going on here. We've got the manual right here, um, and of course the CD drivers, the antenna with the plug, which this is actually much better than the Rosewell one, because the Rosewell one, it was a full antenna that you had to screw on. And so this is nice to see something a little bit more manageable, so you don't have to completely uh, remove your setup, so you can literally just plug this in, and that's, that's pretty nice to see. Um, and as well as a included USB cable, because you do have to plug this into the motherboard on the USB as well as the PCIe so, uh, socket. So I don't know why, but you do. Um, so just make sure you have USB 2.0 um, socket open. And then just the adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it real quick and get the speed test started. So the Gigabyte adapter, in terms of ease of installation, was somewhere, it was a little bit harder than the Rosewell in terms of um, how much stuff was being installed. But in terms of simplicity, honestly, I thought it was easier than the Rosewell. The Rosewell, like I said in the first video, the antenna was hard to plug in. This one actually had um, to where you could plug it in and kind of uh, rotate the nut, at, but not the entire cord, if that makes sense. So it was much easier, kind of like a water hose. It was easy to, to rotate and get on there, um, as well as it being a cable and not the antenna. So you have much more flexibility, much more, um, or you had much less necessary room to operate. Um, if you recall in the first video, my biggest complaint was that I had to move my PC and just it was, it was more of a hassle to get it to work. I had to unplug a bunch of stuff and so if you're a tight space, the Gigabyte adapter is much easier to install. Um, it does occupy a USB 2.0 uh, slot on your motherboard as well as a PCI slot. So just make, keep that in mind in case you are a USB junkie. This will take up a slot, but it's not really that big of a deal. And the cable comes included, so don't worry about like needing anything like that. So um, in terms of video upload, I did a 10 minute video, the same as the other two adapters, and it did it in two minutes, 16 and two minutes, 16 seconds and five milliseconds. Honestly, this shocked me. So I don't know if it's a cap on how fast the YouTube service can receive a video or maybe it was just a a, um, a catch up on or some type of weird flaw, but it actually was slower than the Rosewell adapter on a different, on um, a faster band of Wi-Fi. So I don't know what happened there, but that's it guys. And, and I, I'm, it's weird, I know, but um, in terms of speed test, this is where it makes more sense. It had a five millisecond ping, a 156 megabit per second download, and a 126 megabit per second upload. So already off the bat, you're getting three times the download speed and almost twice the upload speed. That's a lot, guys. Um, that, that, and also you have the uh, added functionality of AC Wi-Fi, which again, I'll, I'll explain more in the fourth video. It's too much to explain in each video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and you sit down, make it a separate video, and I'll link that when it's ready. Um, but yeah, so not only do you have much faster speeds, you have the ability to connect to um, AC, Wi-Fi, as well as older generation routers. So say you, you get this to future-proof, you know, you're gonna upgrade in the future, maybe a year or two. You can buy an AC adapter, use it with the in-router, um, and then whenever you update to AC, you'll get the full benefit, and, and instead of having to buy two routers, or two um, Wi-Fi adapters, 
later, if that makes sense. Uh, and another benefit to the Gigabyte adapter is that you also get a Bluetooth 4.1 chip um, included on the card. So that way, um, if you're like me and you're a gamer or you have headphones or something or speakers that you like to use to connect to your PC, it's super easy, guys. It literally took no second. It integrates actually with the PC's, um, the Windows 10 software. So I, I once I downloaded the Bluetooth, uh, driver and the Wi-Fi driver is super easy to go into settings connect my controllers my headphones and everything and it was it was better than honestly than what I've been using because I've been using a USB adapter um, and so the card was actually much better better latency um, just better response time in general and I enjoyed it thoroughly uh, as well as it's gonna have a longer lifespan than a USB adapter would so that's just an added benefit and keep that in mind whenever you think of the premium price when you think of the Bluetooth as well as the Wi-Fi speed difference it's really worth the money guys to go ahead and just save up and get the gigabyte adapter so in conclusion for the third video my my comparison it would be go ahead and get the gigabyte adapter don't worry about the other two unless you literally need a USB adapter and even if you do need a USB adapter I'm gonna link the one I use because it's AC capable um, it's also really fantastic and it's literally like I think two bucks more than the, the NY-Fi adapter Trust me, you'll like it way more. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, I would go ahead and get the Gigabyte One. It's just better. It's a better deal. It's better technology and everything. And I'll explain that in the fourth video. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you did like this, go ahead and get, uh, drop a like and get subscribed. Turn on notifications so you see whenever I post something so you don't miss out. Um, and you can check out ultimatedebatereviews.com for more to get connected on social media. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.